We are live. <laughs> Simultaneous. How good is yeah. that? Wow. <laughs> Getting better. Good Hello. morning, everybody. And welcome to Monday. Monday, gosh, what's the date? 16th of uh, May. Good Lord. <laughs> Here we go. It's screaming along. We are talking about how to transform your business during challenging times. And I think this is a really topical one because I think I feel a lot of people believe that their business may be in that place. And we've certainly got some good ideas about um, yeah. how, how you can do that. It's interesting, uh, this challenging times is, becomes a real mindset thing. And it does. I think if you zoom out from your individual situation um, and you're looking at business as a whole, as, as we do every day, yeah. there's always some segment of business, some segment of the yeah. marketplace that's in challenging times. But that's just a fact of business, right? I think uh, I people forget mm -hmm. that, that. They think that... Um, you know, when they're doing well, that everybody's doing well, and that when they're yeah. doing not so well, that everybody's not doing so well. Mm, Whereas it doesn't case. quite work like that. No. And um, I guess the good news around that is is that you can take control and make sure that you are always doing well. Yeah. Um, or that if you're not doing well, it's only for very, very short periods of time. Yeah. And you can make the adjustments in your business and in your life to make sure that you do go well. And you touched on it really briefly just then, Nick, in that it's about mindset. So taking control is about recognising and being aware of where your mindset is at. So that's yep. the first tip that we would talk to you about. If you feel, if you've got the commentary, the internal thing going on in your head or hearing people saying, oh, man, it's hard, we want you to check and be aware that that commentary is going on in your head and we need you to flip it to a growth mindset because there is actually... It, it, in, in every bit of chaos that happens in business, there is always going to be something that you can go, there's a bit of gold that I can go and grab that. Uh, and, it's, and it starts with how you think and what you say because what you think and say is what will become your reality. Um, yeah. We know that. So, when, so how does someone pull themselves out of that? So I just want to probably yeah. give you, because when, when things aren't going well in your business and in your life in general, you feel like everything's caving in out. on you. Yeah. And, um, you know, a, a little tip that I want to give you here is, is that when things aren't going so well for you and your business, you've got to go back to, again, go back to the macro, the big overarching. Yeah. Is there less people in the world? Is there less people in your marketplace? Mm -hmm. No. It's that going to be most overwhelming to and most likely yeah. is the That's answer. A There's going to be more people. Mm -hmm. um, and then is there less money? Well, No. no. So what it is is then where are the people uh, going to spend their money, and you know where are, where are they spending any additional money yeah. um, that they may have, and then that is your job as a business owner. We talk about business owner, and then there's also the word entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> what you do need to do is be entrepreneurial in being a business owner. That activities yeah. that is not tradesman like. Not skill, core skill, and or, or trade or profession, mm -hmm. but actually be entrepreneurial in your business that you know how to go and adjust your business model to make sure that you can be profitable in your business. Yeah. And so, think about what are the trends, what's going on out there in the marketplace mm -hmm. um, that you can then go. And look at and adjust. access, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and make those adjustments. You bet. So one of those the things that uh, will support you in that thinking is really go back to why you started the business. What's the purpose that this business started? What uh, and, and you know whatever it is, whether it's a particular lifestyle, whether it's being able to give back to community, whatever it is, you're deeply passionate about the product you sell. That will help mm -hmm. that flip of the mindset. Uh, and then what you speak about is you know the, the look look look. Think of yourself as a drone on top of your business Absolutely. that you're looking down on top of it because you know what? You get a different perspective when you're yeah. not working in the weeds and doing the do every day. You need to step back, think of yourself as a drone looking down on top of your business so you can go, ah, oh, there's some gaps, there's some opportunities, yeah. there's some things that I can take advantage of. Now, if you're running around uh, like a headless chook because you've got a, a wall of worry, you're, you're concerned that, things aren't going so well, you need to really go and find a way to win. You know, the thing is, is, is that panicking um, or, or, you know, going into the fetal position and, and, and you know, just helping. being full of concern, it's actually not doing anything. Like the worry is not 
achieving anything. Correct. It's just worry. Yeah. And so, you know, what you need to do is just go and find a way to win. You know, when, when you need to make the business work, when everything's on the line, mm-hmm. um, then you will find a way if you throw enough effort, energy, and attention at In, that. Indeed. So, so one of those ways that you can find that energy and that pick me up is is get involved in, in business communities surround yourself with the right people if you're hearing a lot of negative speak from people that are around you that that to me is an alarm bell going actually i don't need to be here i need to go and find a new tribe of people a new business community i navigate biz there are others but we are certainly here you don't hear us talking about oh woe is me this is tough this is difficult we're talking about here's the opportunity that's what you've got to be thinking growth mindset so if you're surrounded by these people or exposing yourself to them you have to make the conscious decision and action to step away from that mm. and to turn on that filter you know put up that wall to that negative speak that because it doesn't serve you yeah by and, any means. and um you know eventually you know, once you get really comfortable in the fact of being an entrepreneurial business owner then you can start to come to get excited about market shifts and even excited about downturns because what you see in behind all of those things is opportunity. Um, you know, and there's real opportunity there to go and adjust your business, adjust your business model, adjust your mm-hmm. thinking, mm-hmm. go out, do some uh, market research and get some market intel so that you can go out and build you know, even something better, something yeah. better than what you thought about in the first place. And it, and it could be a new offering that you can, you, yep. you've noticed a gap that you can offer a new product or service. It could mm-hmm. be a new location. Could be new uh, delivery methodology. Do you need to put it online if you're if you're not there already? I want to use the example here that uh, you know a classic example of what does happen. See, with um, uh, Starbucks, something that I picked up on the Starbucks, obviously coffee chain, mm-hmm. uh, very established coffee chain. But then we had all of these um, these iced tea type places coming in. All the you know all, all the char times and yes, the different, the different, uh, the mixes, different yep. types of bubble teas and all that come in. And, you know, clearly they were taking market share. All those iced teas and, and mm. um, those bubble teas clearly taking market share from that coffee market. Yeah. And you see, if you go into a Starbucks now, like there's a whole suite of different types of teas, uh, iced teas and all those those types of teas you get in there. Yeah. Now, you know, no one is immune. It doesn't matter what size what business size you business, are is my yeah. point. Mm. Everybody is under constant attack and constant threat from market changes. Changes in tastes and flavors and, mm-hmm. and, and habits. Um, you know, there's always different market forces at play here, no matter what size your business is. And w- when you talk about just you and your business as an owner operator, or maybe just one or two of you, my, me and my little old business, you are under threat constantly. And you need to be looking to grow that market share and move and adjust and grow because nothing counteracts a downturn like growth. Yeah. You know, you go and grow by, um, you know, whether you're, uh, you know, changing changing your business model, mm-hmm. changing your demographic that you're mm-hmm. su- supplying to, changing your products, yeah. uh, or adding new divisions or, or, or new areas to the business, uh, adding additional locations. Um, you can co- collaborate uh, or, or acquire other businesses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, all of yeah. these things all are really all important all to all stimulate options. growth, even, even in a contraction. You know, this is all a choice. Like to continue the Starbucks conversation, you now see them in Woolworths for our our yeah, home that's right. coffee the machines. Pods. Who yeah, would yeah, ever have thought a... that a international chain you could get in Woolworths or Coles? Yeah, you know, you yeah but they were obviously market. under threat from the so Nespresso's and all the other little yeah, pods things. Yeah. So you know, it's just another way to get their yeah. brand into your home. Yeah. Um, you know, again, that's not limited to you know the big no. chains. You know, you've got to constantly keep reinventing and adding different growth areas to your business yeah. so that when contraction, contractions come um, or, exactly. you know, things, the market shifts a little bit, you've still got areas that you can grow in. Yeah. So, you know, you also touched on, um, you know, collaboration. So, you know, if yeah. you see other businesses that have the same market as you or they've got a market, a target audience that you would love to get into that, What's wrong with through your business networking, getting an introduction, go and introduce yourself and go, hey, I've got this, you've got that. How about we co- collaborate? How about we co-create something yeah. that speaks to our respective audiences? Suddenly you've got a multiplier of an audience that you didn't have before. Yeah. So there's some great stuff to be done. And I know in the networking groups that I belong to, 
outside now because I need to be part of other networking groups, not just our own. I see a lot of this happening uh, lately is co-creation, collaboration, complementing what you do or what you could create as a new. It's yeah. a wonderful opportunity. Or, or one of my favourite ones is, is if you're in a market and, and it is, uh, yeah, maybe it is overcrowded, there's lots of people in there and, and so you've got lots of players that aren't particularly doing very well, a lot, a lot of people with just little tiny bits of market share. Yeah. And, um, you know, hey, this, again, why navigate business here? We know the statistics are that most of those businesses will not yeah, continue to uh, yeah. to uh, trade after, you know, two or three or four years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a great alternative to go and get growth is to go and look at who are these other little little micro businesses mm -hmm. around that are competitors to you that are probably struggling. Maybe they don't have the same strength or will as you, the same resolve that you have and the same will to win that you have. Go out and look at their stock or whatever that they have and say, hey, look, you know, would you be interested in selling your business? Yeah. You know, perhaps if they're not doing well, there's no goodwill involved and you can just end oh, up yeah. taking the headache off them, improving your stock position and taking some additional market share. So you're ending up yeah. turning two sort of on the ropes type businesses yeah, or three right. or four or five or six of them, them and pull in. them all together. Yeah. and try and make one really great business out of that. You know, there's tons of small businesses out there that are really struggling. So you get back and you get the synergies there, get their database, get their stock, and you've still just got the one overhead there, which is your business. Indeed. So that is a beautiful segue into our free tutorial next week on the 26th, mm -hmm. because we're going to be talking to you about what you need to be doing to prepare for the end of financial year. That's a hard date that doesn't shift, 30th yeah, 30 of June, June. from us yeah. here in Australia. 31 of March in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't shift, but there are so many things that you should be thinking about strategizing, and this is not about thinking, oh, man, that's just big corporate speak. That's, you know, yeah. big business end of town only does that. No, there are so many options really important for, to you. for the business owners who are li listening to us here. So if some of this conversation resonates, come and find us on our uh, website, nabig 8 biz.com and there's a little menu item there that says free tutorials jump in there and you'll see a, a list of them but the next one is next week and this will be talking in a little bit more detail about what you can do yep. which speaks to what we've been talking about today to really take control of your business and the most important thing be ready and excited for what next financial year will bring absolutely yeah. and if you are not even sure about you know how you're going to build a growth plan how you're going to go and take control of the marketplace mm -hmm. Um, how, how are you going to build your business to be a serious player in whatever it is you do? Come join us in the Biz Boot Camp. We've got one currently underway. Next one's coming up. So um, jump into navigatebiz.com and check out the Biz Boot Camp, 56 days of mentoring from Joanne and myself. Yeah. And we take you through building out a great business, a sustainable, profitable, long-term business. Mm -hmm. We hold your hand through that process each and every day for 56 days. And we're getting it really into the nitty-gritty of what we've been speaking about today with all the tools that you need to implement so this is this is not just what you need to do but how do you do it yep. uh, that's super important so have an awesome day this will be us for today and we'll that's be it. back on thursday go for growth have a wonderful day see ya oh, goodness. Oh, got a funny end going on sorry everybody <laughs> my face right in the